Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. You're watching The Art of Noise. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Isn't that impressive? But never duplicated. Right here I got the Sterling Music Man neck laying in front of me. Started plucking frets out of it. And I want to show you something. I've got, uh, you know, like I said before, I was telling you that the frets were not really laying down on the fretboard very well and if you could see the white crap that is on each side of the fret slot well that's either polishing compound or something that got pushed into the crack between the fret and the fretboard so I'm going to go ahead and start plucking these guys out and as I'm plucking them out you'll see that it'll still be the same thing all the way across so let's get that started here Another thing I found out with this fretboard too is um, the radius of it is not with any one of my radius gauges or the radius block itself. This is supposed to have a 12 inch radius. Uh, I looked up online uh, with uh, Sterling on Sterling Music Man and uh, found out that this is a 12 inch radius with um, narrow frets, luckily I have uh, quite a bit of narrow uh, fret wire that is basically the same thing as this. So I'll be able to replace this out of my own stock and instead of having to buy, buy new stock. And I don't really come across too many guitars that use a narrow uh, fret wire, but this one does. So I tried pulling these frets up pretty you know, pretty easily as far as not bending them goes to match them with the radius block that I have and, or the radius gauge to see if they are actually a, you know, bent in a 12 inch radius. And they are not. They're, they're a little bit more on the flat side, which that explains why these are not sitting correctly the way that they're supposed to. Now, I'm doing this in a way where I'm not disturbing the whatever they packed in and sealed on each side of the fretboard because the fretboard, uh, the tangs of these frets didn't overhang outside of the fretboard. It looks like that each one of these frets have been, I'll show that to you in a minute, have been uh, nipped on each side with the tangs and uh, pressed in. So they did not stick on each side. Now the edges of the fretboard on this thing is finished and the top of the fretboard is supposed to have some type of a finish on it as well. And I'm going to end up replacing it because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's just pretty shitty the way it looks. So this isn't too hot. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a nip on the side of where the tang is. And as you can see, I pulled that one out and that one is no better as far as having all kinds of crap in it. So none of these frets were actually sitting on the fretboard correctly and they're packed with whatever uh, rubbing compounds that were used to polish these frets. So I'm gonna give this a true 12 inch radius. The frets should match using the fret bender uh, with the radius of the fretboard. I'm going to nip the edges of the fret and I'm going to have to make these frets, since the fretboard is finished, I'm going to have to make these frets basically the exact same size as the fretboard is uh, without having to do a lot of work to the fret ends. Because if I have to use the file down the side of the fretboard that is going to damage uh, as it's cutting the edge of the fret, it's going to damage the fretboard itself. So I have a file that I can use from Stumac that will finish these fret ends and hopefully not be uh, sharp at all as far as, you know, cutting your hand or anything else goes. So I want to get these things nice and hot without discoloring the fretboard. And it does help make them pull up a lot easier than they do without a lot of chippage. Chippage. Chip out. Yeah, chip out. 
So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying your first part of the new year. It seems like uh, seems like every year so far has been going by really, really fast. Especially if you have a especially if you have a kid or kids. It seems like these years are going by really, really quick. So we ended up getting hit with some pretty good snow in uh, the last couple of days, and uh, you know my kids are in there looking at it. Oh, we're going to have a snow day. We're going to have a snow day. There won't be no school, and it's like, nope. And it's not going. To, it's not that much snow to cause a problem. But from what I've seen, like in the past couple of years, it seems like that uh, even if it snows a little bit, they're ended up closing the schools. And uh, I know it wasn't like that when I was a kid. Didn't matter how much snow on the ground. Didn't matter if it was snowing. Didn't matter if it was snowing during the school. You didn't get out early, and you still went to school every day. So this one is being a little bit of a pain in the ass to pull up. I want to make sure I don't get a lot of chippage off the edges of fretboard. This only only bleh, this almost makes me believe that this these frets have been replaced. And that may explain the the way the tops of the frets look as far as being worked on. Um, and then polished. So I'm going to redo this and uh, make sure that this is a true 12 inch radius. And this is not the only guitar that I've seen this on. There's other guitars that I've worked on that I plucked the frets out in the fret. Um, it'll say on the specs what the fretboard is. I will match that with the fret wire. And putting the frets on, it doesn't seem like the frets want to lay the way they're supposed to lay across the fretboard. And that has to do with the fretboard itself not being a true, not being true to the radius that it's supposed to be. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking. You guys can listen to some music and watch the rest of this video for a bit. All right, so the frets have been plucked, and you can see there's a lot more shit underneath the frets. And my hand was kind of rubbing off some of the stuff that's over here, so that'll be all cleaned up. But here is a 12-inch fret radius tool. And I kind of want to see. I know it's bad because I've already looked at it and I've already seen it, but you guys haven't. So one thing is when you put the put this on here it shouldn't rock back and forth and it shouldn't pivot 
and the center. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's pivoting. It's pivoting in the center where the ends are kind of like lifting off of the fretboard. So it's not a 12 inch radius. It's supposed to be. It's going to be. And that's what I'm going to end up doing with this. So I got a 12 inch radius block and I'm going to start putting this where it's supposed to be. Now I noticed that one side of the fretboard on this side here move it into the picture is a little bit thinner than this side of the fretboard over here so again I'm wondering if there has been some type of work done to this thing and uh, yeah so let me get some sandpaper on my block start leveling this thing out so I'm using 180 grit I don't have any peel and stick paper anymore I ran out of it so I'm using a disc not a big deal, it's gonna work. So go ahead and start sanding this thing down. Find some place to hold it. Now one of the things you're gonna notice, especially after wiping it off, you'll see the sanding marks and as you can see on the edge over here still shiny the edge over here still shiny and then shiny in the middle this will get rid of all of that Oh, much better now it's actually there is no more rocking but I do see some light on the two low sides over here just continue to do this until until there is no more shiny of the finish on the fretboard all right so I got a little bit more to do over here and yes I did check the fretboard to see if it was level that is not something that I would not pass up on doing to make sure otherwise if this wasn't level it's level now and the neck is not straight so but it is level all right so I gotta clean up these grooves and start uh, applying a finish to the fretboard before I put the frets on all right so what I'm doing now is I'm applying thin coat wipe on poly to the fretboard right now kind of like if I was oiling oiling the fretboard this is real thin just to seal up the grain right now Wipe off anything that came over the edges. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting a few coats on this. Kind of looks looks really nice. I'm going to put a few coats on this, and uh, in between each coat, when it starts to thicken up, I will end up doing a light sanding on it. And then for the last coat, there won't be any sanding at all after that. And I can start applying the frets to this thing. So it's going to be a bit because I'm going to have to, you know, let this dry and uh, move on to installing frets, you know, 